Remember where we're going? Going for the skate park. We're going for the skate park. Okay, like <laughs> today we're going to make Claren Vale. You know what it is? No, you don't, right? Down south, Andalay, they make a lot of wine. You like wine? I can't even drink wine. You can't even drink wine? Oh, but you like juices. They make juices too. What's your favorite juice? Banana juice. How do you can make a banana juice? I never hear about the banana juice. So we're gonna visit them. We're gonna visit uh, probably a couple cellar doors, hoping with toys. We're gonna visit the orchard, and we're gonna visit the nearby cheese cheese maker. Okay, are you ready to go? Yes. Exciting. Now throwing a sticker on the floor. Okay. If you go straight, we will go to Victor Arbor. If you go left, we go to McLarenville. So McLaren Vale is one of the most uh, known wine regions here in uh, South Australia. It, you didn't know that? Secret. Now you know that. So there are a couple wine regions. Do we have even a phone speaking with us? Okay, that's cool. We have um, a couple wine regions in South Australia that are really well known, which are Rossa Valley, it's on the north, McLaren Vale which is here at the south. Konawara, does it go down south more than here? And you have Adelaide Hills. So over here, you know when they planted the vineyards? Almost when they discovered the place. Like they came over here and they found, look, there is a place, let's put down some vineyards. And there were two people, two people that they've, they, they, they've done it, which were uh, Thomas Hardy and John Raynell. So let's go to see the first place, okay? Did you get any poo? No. That's good. So we've been visiting uh, Paxton uh, Winery. I chose to come over here because I knew that they were producing wine uh, in a biodynamic regime. The experience was really nice. The person, uh, Jennifer, that was looking, uh, she was working in the cellar door. She was really descriptive and she knew about what she was selling, which was really, really cool. I really liked her. It was really good chat with her. Taste the wine and I found uh, um, what the Grenache and I tasted Grenache and Shiraz both uh, 2017 and uh, two different properties. Uh, the Shiraz has she said uh, needs a little longer aging while the Grenache uh, was uh, pretty mature and complex to be consumed now. Uh, medium medium full body, uh, fruitiness. What kind of fruit did you find it in the, in the Grenache? Um, um, black Blackberry. So you and, and, and small and those wild strawberries mixed together. Oh, okay, that's cool. I think I found the strawberries too. And you know what? Because you didn't taste the wine, I had the chance to taste it. I found an aftertaste of licorice, which I think it was it was yummy. Now the next step, we're gonna visit the orchard. So we're gonna see apples and uh, probably ciders do I think. What is ciders? Cider is a product that we're gonna see in the next part of the video.
Good. Okay. Now it's time to get inside. Was it nice? I like the environment. I like the light. I like his design. It's really nice. I like it. It's well, well made. And um, because it make it, it looks family spot. It looks uh, cozy, isn't it? Yes. And also there is a lot of orchards around, so you can run around and see. Play. Maybe not not this time of the year. It's not the best time of this, or at least it's good for them for pruning, but not for us to visiting. But you know, I think we're gonna come back in spring. Huh? We're gonna bring some friends. Let's go with the next. Oh, the next one is a cheese maker. We're gonna see what they. I suppose they're gonna have a lot of cows. Huh? Uh, what? Cows. Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Why do you guess it's a factory? Well, the cows are not living in a factory. The cows are living in a farm. Oh, yeah. Alexandrina cheese, um, mix of uh, feelings. Obviously, the building it's uh, a small uh, family factory. Therefore, a lot of plastic, a lot of metal, and walking inside in a shop that smells sanitizer is not the best, in my opinion, when you go uh, looking for food experiences. The furniture inside they were looking a little bit uh, retro, so something that was okay 20 years ago in terms of tables made with plastic, metal, but I was surprised. I have to say that the cheese, even though I'm coming from Bergamo, that is uh, one of the you know places where you can find good cheeses in Italy, the cheese was not bad. I'm still trying to figure it out, the match, because they've been using obviously a local milk and uh, I always, I, I had the chance to taste their style of cheeses before and I never enjoyed them much because they're generally too dense and they do not have the what I, I believe is the natural cheese taste, they, they, they look more and taste a bit more plasticky to my, my palate. Well, Today, maybe because they were fresh here, uh, but I found them okay, enjoyable. So I have to say that in terms of food, it's, it's, it's valid. And then the platter was good for me and Francis, and it was like $18, which is quite affordable. Now we're gonna visit the last uh, winery for today, and then we're gonna go back home. Oh, here you are where the cows are.
I can say that from the last visit, which was uh, Selix uh, Hills, um, it was really good experience. Uh, the uh, producer was really interesting and passionate. The location was also was really nice. The place it was big but not too big, so it was possible to see uh, the wine production if it was available the time to do so and having a chat with the producer and tasting products. And um, also what I liked the most it was uh, the quality of the wine. Like when someone decides to sell a wine and that is uh, 2013 is uh, a really good thing because it means, and we are in 2019, it means that the producer itself is looking to um, give the product ready. Give the product ready for the customer. And they know what they're selling. And they know what they're selling, that's, that's right. That's an important bit. Is it? Yes. So how was today? What do you think? A thumbs up. Thumbs up? Yes. Did you have any specific part that you liked the most? Skate park. So we've been in four places and then the best part was a skate park. Yeah. That's understandable. We knew that, did we? Okay. So I hope that you enjoyed the day and uh, we will stay in touch for the next one. Please leave your comments below. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that's also a good thing. And uh, what do you want to say? Peace out. <laughs> Ciao.